Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays Kerbal Space Program where I am having technical issues. You will see here that I've got an entire board of scientists and as you guys know, especially if you've been part of the KSP group, this is not what I want and I cannot figure out how to refresh the astronaut complex. So if anybody has any information, I put out a plea at the beginning of my episode right here. How do I get more Kerbals? How, how does it happen? Like, wh when do we refresh those scientists into something more useful? But anyway, welcome back, guys. Right now, what we're trying to do is play with Pi. Now, you may remember Pi to be my tiny, tiny Ike probe. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a, a nice place to get a good um, transfer orbit here. And as you can see, it kind of does exactly the opposite to what I thought it was going to do. I started putting maneuver nodes on the, the side of the planet of Juna that Pi is. Um, turns out that's no good. Um, also, turns out going just straight out along this line is also no good. We've got to do it in such a, a weird sort of going out to the other side of the solar system and back again type scenario uh, just to give us some time. Uh, I, I knew I would have a little bit of troubles with this sort of transfer when I was coming in to a polar orbit. I, I knew that I would be laying myself up for a little bit of awkwardness here, but I didn't quite realise how awkward it was going to be. But there we go. We've got the, the manoeuvre node in place. It's time to burn round and try and figure out, well, not even try and figure out, burn around and just make this this burn happen now one of the first problems that i encounter almost immediately is that when i, co I come here and uh, separate the vessel off of course one of the first things i did was put the maneuver node onto this pushing device here not to actual this that actual probe which means i have got no maneuver node here to play with this is more vexing than you might realize as as i said it took a long time to muck around but also i appear to be in the exact spot that i want to be so what we're actually going to do is reload back to the other side uh come around and redo this maneuver node after i have separated off from the the pushing craft and when we get ourselves about this sort of encounter i'm going to spend a, a few minutes playing around trying to figure out if i can get an even closer encounter for even less uh, delta v i ended up actually going for quite a, a high uh transfer as i've got a lot of scan sat equipment on here i've, I've got the the multi-spectral imager and the radar altimeter there both of which need a relatively high altitude to get going okay so we, we are now in position for our burn everything is lined up we have made good use of kerbal alarm clock as per normal uh really is needed one of the the things to watch out for it was well one of the things that you should have been watching out for was me not hitting the, the the pushing craft i really thought that once again as we separated off i seemed to be looking directly at the craft um, and it was a little bit of a, a side slip there to make sure it happened properly uh slightly overcooked the burn not too much really to worry about we can just turn around and thrust the other way to to even that out and we end up with this which i think is quite quite a nice gravity assist it doesn't quite get me outside the uh sphere of influence of juna but that that's good because we're not actually trying to leave Juno, we're just going to Ike. So with that orbit set, it's time to go and do one of the things that I will be doing quite a lot in this episode. It's time to go back to the Space Center and go and check on the astronaut complex. Now the main reason for this is someone on Reddit told me that it just takes time for the astronaut complex to refresh. He was saying like in a couple of days it will all be good. Um, and I can tell you now, categorically, it is not all good because I've gone back in there days and days and days apart you can see here i am just wasting days it takes me like days to get pi back over towards ike and i've got the alarm clock obviously set and i just keep going in and watching um days afterwards it is still this same scenario i i i'm considering upgrading the, the 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 systems here uh but my alarm clock has has gone off so it is time to get back to pi and see where we are so Perspectively, we are halfway between Ike and Juna, but because we know Ike is so much smaller than Juna, we must be just about to cross the sphere of influence, and indeed we are. Um, trying to set up a maneuver node here, like nice and early, so I can figure out where I'm going. But the, the problem with Ike is that tiny little dot there is not actually very representative of the size of Ike itself. It's it, when you're trying to sort out your maneuver nodes, if you try and bring the uh, the periaps down anything below sort of 10 kilometers, it disappears underneath the surface of Ike. Now that's kind of all right. 10 kilometers is kind of what I aim for around most moons anyway. 
but it, it's not very visually apparent when you're sorting that sort of that sort of stuff out from this sort of distance but anyway we're gonna get some nice shots here and start opening up the scansat equipment this is, this is kind of one of the reasons we are here but the energy drain from those two pieces of equipment is quite worrying so i'm trying to put, put myself towards the sun so these solar panels we can get enough power it's still not quite enough but yeah let, let's just uh, get these done uh unfortunately i didn't quite get as much time to do this as i would like um because i was just trying to to get this down obviously we are doing the explore ike contract today uh we managed to do the explore juno one last time and we did take both at the same time that is the entire reason this probe is here now i should have gathered when i was sorting out the maneuver nodes back outside the sphere of influence that they, we were going to be in a very low orbit due to the fact that i was missing the periaps when i was sorting out but for some reason it took until this point for me to realize quite how close the periaps was when i came through the sphere of influence i was like so close we were literally grazing the surface doing a circularization burn actually put my periaps underneath the surface of ike which which was not great so we did a little bit of jiggery pokery to try and make sure i didn't crash into the surface but i could really do with being a lot higher up um but we are down here now and we are almost entirely out of fuel but as we are circularized quick look in the astronaut complex no still nothing changed okay so i went away for an evening came back still nothing had changed in the astronaut complex i'd actually forgotten that one of the last things i did was to check that so here we have a little double thing uh one thing i did want to check is uh i had hired people and fired them on the same session in the astronaut complex and i was wondering whether that would be like something to do with uh why they weren't disappearing is because i did it in the same session so this time i've taken on a whole load of scientists uh to fire later and see what happens uh back to ike and the the, the pie pie probe we're just gonna bring this down this is what i meant by i didn't really have enough time to do what i wanted um we are still on our first first orbit but we are so low down that it's just unefficient to do any of this sort of stuff and i'm already starting to worry about how much fuel reserves we have as i did plan this to be quite a tight mission i was expecting to come in at quite a high periaps and then slowly work my way down using my my fuel just for those singular burns going back up we require double the fuel maybe even triple the fuel because obviously we've come down and we've got to go back up and then back down again a little bit inefficient so i'm just going to go for the full blown i'm going to land on this side uh as you can see i wanted to to put down on the the daylight side because well, hey don't we want to put down on the daylight side and whilst i was looking around i was like maybe i actually want to be on the daylight ike facing side not ike facing side juna facing side so we're going to muck around with the, the maneuver nose just a little bit just to put me my periaps on the daylight side that we can happen to see Juno from. Cinematic reasons, you know, cinematic reasons. So I'm quietly confident that everything has been laid up nicely for this uh, Ike probe to come in for a rather nice landing. The one thing that does give me slight pause is the amount of electricity that I have at this present moment in time. Though, once again, the maneuver node that I have set up is in glorious sunshine, so we don't really have to worry too much about it. Just try and stop uh, like some of this scanning software as it is pulling quite a lot of my electricity away from that. Uh, away from the RCS, not RCS, the SAS that I want to keep running. Mainly for navigation purposes, but also because when I fire these engines, I notice that somehow I've got the balance a little bit off. And I don't know how because I spent an awful long time in the VAB making sure everything was balanced up nicely. But if I go full throttle without my SAS on, we spin ever so slightly around okay so bottom fuel jet uh, fuel tank away uh, it's a little shame that we couldn't get down quick enough to make that happen properly uh, so we could record the impact on the seismic data but it's going to take us a while to get down there and we're slowing down as we speak so you know all sorts of things uh lining up for that not to happen okay so you've noticed i've pointed around to my retro retrograde here no not retrograde prograde here now that is a little off because obviously we're coming in for a landing but it also happens to be the direction that the sun is and my solar panels are on top so i have to be facing in this direction gave me a little bit of a of a jitter um trying to correct well i say correct trying to turn our our burn around a little bit just to make sure we're po pointing more at juno when we come in for a landing and i put us back up into an orbit it wasn't quite my intention but as it was here i thought i'd take it uh, you will notice however that i am down to half a fuel tank 
Uh, and one thing that I really wish would happen, you see that where we've got the, the numbers readouts on the on the fuel lines. Oh, trust me to take it away at that present moment in time. But there is a slash between. We have so much of so much. I really wish that slash was in the middle of the, of the bar there. Because every time I look at it, I process it that that is the middle point. And it's, it just annoys me. Uh, I know it is my own brain playing fun, fun, silly buggers with me, but there we go. Okay, so we're going to bring ourselves to a stop here, or at least a stop as far as the orbit is concerned. Those of you that know will know what already my mistake is, but we'll, we'll just carry on like this. Um, we're going to bring ourselves down as gently as we can. Now, one of the problems with Ike is it has really, really low gravity, uh, and, and these three radial engines around the outside are actually pretty pokey uh, I'm, I'm i'm having a little bit of trouble uh, as will be demonstrated very shortly keeping this under control without actually pushing myself back up uh, i gave just the smallest burst there and we were down uh, we pushed ourselves from 30 30 meters per second downwards to seven meters per second upwards so we're gonna have to go around and start sorting things out um putting the thrust limiters on the engines there to try and bring it down my velocity is starting to approach zero, and I notice that the floor is still moving quite a lot underneath me, so I'm like, oh no. And as I'm trying to correct for that, I run out of fuel, well and truly, but thankfully I was only 10 meters off the floor. I hit the floor at something like 17 meters per second though, and everything seemed to take it fine. But here we go! Pi on Ike! Amazing! So we're going to go around and do a lot of science now, and I will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. Uh, I'm going to let this run out, but I don't really have too much more footage now. If anyone knows about why the astronaut complex is only giving me scientists, please let me know. It is the one thing that is actually stopping me moving on, um, like, immediately. Uh, yeah, so if you can, please let me know, and I will see you next time when we're actually going to try and deal with that. So, please let me know. Bye!